Hey guys and welcome to Rosa Scale. So here on this channel I'm trying my best to show you both free and paid versions of the tools and show you different workflows and today we're going to be attempting something very interesting. But before we do, let's answer a simple question of what makes a an article great. And in my honest opinion, uh, there's just a handful of elements, so the uh, your article, in order to be helpful and great, <laughs> quote-unquote, has to be comprehensive, uh, meaning that its outline should be robust and include all the necessary details. It has to be factual, unless you're in subjective niches, like the ones that I did with the help of SEOwriting.ai. It has to be, to be SEO-optimized, at least to an extent, because this is the name of the game, one of the hygienic factors. And it has to contain links, both internal, meaning they lead to your own blog post, and external, meaning that they lead to some valid resources, uh, reputable resources. So all this uh, is usually done with the help of expensive AI tools, and Agility Writer, for example, is one of those tools where you get all four, and uh, you know where to get the coupon code <laughs> for Agility Writer. And so today I will be attempting to do all this with the help of Claude and a bunch of other free tools. Let's first head back to Harper.ai, which is the first free AI tool that we have. Uh, this is a plugin and a Chrome extension. And uh, we won't be do doing Candoxid login today. We'll be doing something more factual like Bitcoin price prediction 2024. And this will load up the SERPs. And now let's start the process by stop. So we'll be going to generate a comprehensive article outline based on, and we'll just put page in parentheses. Okay. And since Claude is capable of referencing multiple documents, we'll be saving everything in docx format. So let's uh, wait till harper.ai finishes and we'll be done with Harper. You can use Harper actually for everything and anything. LSI keywords, Factual information even, but I think uh, on the outline is where it truly shines. So we even get the related search queries, which we won't be using. At least not now. So, okay, this is our outline. We have uh, seven sections. And we will name this document conveniently outline docx. Next is the factual, and factual is basically the articles that are already in the SERPs. And this is how perplexity.ai works, for example. It analyzes the, the top four results. And we'll be heading back to Chrome, and let's just open up a few of these. So this one here, this one here. And now we have a file called articles and we have article 1, article 2 and article 3. So this takes takes care of factual. Now for the SEO optimize you can use both Claude and Harpa, but I well, lately I've been a fan of Bart when it comes to energy and LSI keywords, so generate a comprehensive list of entities and LSI Keywords for Bitcoin price prediction. Okay, so these are entities and outside keywords. And it took me two tries. So on the first try, Bart told me that it cannot do that, which is just silly. So now we need to copy these entities and LSI keywords in words once again, save as, and we will call it conveniently LSI docx. Okay, this is done also. 
what else is there? Uh, this covers SEO optimized. What about links? Okay. So if you want to have internal links, you obviously need some uh, links, <laughs> existing articles. So I have this website, which is uh, still on sale, which is called Halloween Millionaires. And it's actually started getting some impressions and clicks. And this is a very good site uh, for affiliate marketing, custom made with widgets and interactive elements. But we just need to access the post map, the post sitemap. So we will copy everything here, paste it like so. And here we have a bunch of internal links and we call them links. And maybe a better idea would, would be to call them links one, because we still need the external links. So for the external links, you can actually scan the top ranking SERPs. But uh, what I would suggest is to go to perplexity, type in Bitcoin price prediction 2024. And this will actually give us references. So this is reference one, this is reference two, three. Okay. Did we get a four? No, I don't see the fourth link, but that's okay. And we can just save them to a document called links two. Now, so everything appears to be ready. Let's load them up. So we have our reference article, we have the outline, we have the OSI keywords, links, one and links to. Okay, so we have our outline, our reference article, so OSI keywords, internal and external links, and this is the prompt. Using Markdown format embodied words list and tables, generate 2000 a 2000 word article based on the outline from outline.docx, reference the materials from articles.docx, include relevant OSI keywords from OSI.docx, and use rich anchor text to place relevant links from links.docx and links to doc x okay let's see what happens okay let's see if this has stayed true to the initial outline so introduction then what is bitcoin then analysis of previous trends and what is bitcoin analysis of previous trends factors comprehensive analysis so yeah it's all here yeah, it's so over here and now we can see that uh, we do not have any links. And this is okay since one of the better uh, advantages of Claude over Code Interpreter, for example, is that so if you quit your uh, chat with the Code Interpreter, you won't be able to use the attached documents unless you attach them once again and prompt ChatGPT once again. But here all this information remains active for the uh, duration of this chat. And you can go back uh, to this chat and use them. So we have our article ready. Now we can say now use rich anchor text to place relevant links from links one doc x and links to docx because i suppose the above prompt was just too much for clot relevant okay here's the article with the relevant links from links one links two okay so the it is now rewriting and since clot is free and so the uh, caps or the limitations are still quite merciful you can rerun this multiple times. So this now adds internal and external links to the above structure without changing the article itself. Now this is an external link. And we've already had a bunch of internal links as well. And now to the final touch. How many keywords from LSI doc X bur used in the above and if you don't like bars for example you can use surfer seo you can use neural writer you can use chat gpt or whatever phrase to place your lsi keywords i counted the number of lsi keywords 
any unused ones. Uh, okay, so rewrite. So now rewrite and use all all the above keywords. And yes, I do realize it's taking more time that it would with just with the uh, one click writers, but it's all free. And we can see that Claude is forgetting to include the internal external links and that's okay. So one way to avoid that would be to reprompt Claude in the beginning. But we'll just, since this is going on for a while now, we'll just wait till it finishes and then we'll use the same prompt as we did before. But this time around, this, is, this will be applied to the LSI optimized text. And again, one of the main purposes of videos such like this is to open up your thinking boxes and show you different ways of applying the features of Claude. So if this is not a one-click button solution that you were hoping for, I apologize. But hopefully you will see value in working with multiple sources within Claude. So okay, immediately this took us a while, a few tries. But let's paste everything here. We don't need this information. And here's our article with internal and external links article that is again factual based on current data. Look at that. Introduction, links, what is Bitcoin, analysis of previous Bitcoin price trends, links everywhere, factors influencing Bitcoin price prediction for 2024, regulation, comprehensive analysis, different sources, impact on Bitcoin in conclusion. So I think that this is one of the best ways of uh, writing factual SEO optimized articles for free. And just to sum up, we used Claude uh, for copywriting. We used BART for entities and OSI keywords. We used Harper.ai for the outline. And we used Perplexity for the external links. Hope this video was helpful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.